G'day, Nigel from McGill Music. Simply the Best by Tina Turner. Now that's got a classic, a really, it's a mega saxophone solo if you're into rock saxophone. And it's by the master of rock saxophone, in my opinion, Clarence Clemens. Now he's not with us anymore, but he's made some amazing recordings of that style of playing. And this is one of those I think is really fantastic. So let's have a listen to the whole, I'll play the whole solo for you first, and then we'll go back and um, work through it bit by bit. First of all though, don't forget, Follow the link down below and visit mcgillmusic.com. Download the lesson for this uh, this video. So I've got the whole score there for you, the whole um, solo, so you can follow it through at home. Here we go. This is the solo, simply the best. So that's simply the best. Wicked solo. Okay, so let's go through it bit by bit. First of all, it's in the key of A, so we've got F sharps, C sharps, and G sharps. And the very first note starts on F sharp, F sharp, A, and then up to high E. You can do this on the front like this, with your G key, your A key, and your, your finger up on the F key with the octave key. Or you can do the two side keys and the top one over here, yeah? So, F sharp, A, E, then it's C natural, B, A, then down to the F sharp. And then what he does on the F sharp is he does it like a little fall off thing, like a gliss down. So uh, what I do, a little top trip here, is I actually play my F sharp. Because I'm gonna do a fall, I play it like F with the F sharp key down here, which means I can quickly get off with a little bit of a gliss going down. But you can play your F sharp that way if you want, whatever feels more, most comfortable for you. So, let's try that phrase. Here we go. Yeah, one more time. Okay. Right, the next phrase. Up to the C sharp. C sharp. So it's got four of those. Ba, 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 ba. C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, and then A, F sharp. The normal one of those Clarence Clemens rock fall offs on the F sharp, okay? One other thing he does is on the last C sharp, he does a little bit of a scoopy thing on there, which he does with his jaw. I'll show you what it sounds like. See if you can do this. Okay? Right, the next one's kind of the same as that. Lots of C sharps. In fact, it goes C sharp, C, 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 another scoopy thing on the C sharp. A, F sharp, C sharp, E, so the fall off. Okay, so they're all C sharps, but so that first bar again. C sharp, 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 the scoop on the last one. A, F sharp, C sharp, E, the scoop. Ba 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 Like that. Let's try playing it. Here we go. Two, three, four. You got it? Do you try it one more time? Two, three, four. Alright. Now the last two bars. More E's. E to the fall off. And then high E for the fall off. Another high E for the fall off. And then he goes C sharp, E, and then he does a super high E. Now if you can do that one, uh, if you download that PDF worksheet, there's a couple of different fingering suggestions on there. One that I find works really well is to go middle finger here, and then one and two here with your octave key. But if you're struggling to get that high E out, because it's a pretty high note, you can just play another E in the same in the same place, either on the front or on the side here. Okay? Right, so let's hear that last phrase. So um it goes like this. Okay? You with me? Brilliant. So just persevere with those high notes, they are tricky, but once you get them, they sound wicked. Okay, so 
We're going to finish up the lesson by playing all the way through that solo. Don't forget, go to mcgillmusic.com and check out the other lessons that are on there. Let me know what you think. I hope you're enjoying them. And good luck with your saxophone journey. Here we go. Simply the best. One, two.